Hey everybody, welcome back to the brand new video. We have a special Silver Pack Sunday for you. We're opening 100 Silver Packs, all from the most recent flagship Tops release, 2022 Top Series 2. This came out a few months ago, but I have accumulated 100 packs here. We're going to rip them all open and see how many autographs we can find. Now, I've been ripping these packs in our Saturday showdowns every week. Probably go through, I think we usually do about four cases per week of Jumbo. That's 48 silver packs. And usually, I feel like we might find four autographs to five autographs within those 48 packs if we're super lucky. Um, but usually at least a few. So out of these 100 packs, I think we're going to find about seven autographs today in this video. Uh, that's what I'm going to go with. That's my official guess. We're going to open them all up right now and see what we can find. Before I start ripping, I'd like to remind you, if you'd like to support the channel and join as a channel member, uh, there's a little button that says join next to the subscribe button. And if you're new here, we'd love to have you along as a subscriber as well. But we're giving away the Julio Rodriguez rookie autograph at the end of the month to channel members. Just got to try to get the first comment as your entry. Channel members only. All right, let's go ahead and rip these open. So where did I get all these? You're probably wondering. So I have Patreon packages. I have a Patreon page and certain tiers, the higher tiers, get monthly packs sent to them every month. So I break open cases. I take out all the packs. I put them in um, mailers and I mail them off. And then these are left over, uh, the box toppers. So after usually a couple months, I accumulate a whole bunch of these, and then we rip them open. So we're going to go ahead and see what we can find. Right now, I got them organized into stacks of 20. So um, kind of see there, those are 20, 20, 20. So five stacks here. Let's go ahead and get things started right now. All right, first up, it's Stephen. Stephen B has the first run of we'll do these ones right here in front first. Good luck, Stephen. At spot number one. So if you're unfamiliar with the silver packs, these are box toppers. You get two in every jumbo box of tops. You get one in every hobby box of tops. It is for just the main flagship releases, so you would not find these in Tops Chrome or any other release. They're exclusive to Top Series 1, Series 2, and Update. Hopefully we'll have update coming out sometime next month, and we can do this same video again, albeit with uh, different cards. So next month, I'll tell you what, I'm really looking forward to 2022 update with Huey Rodriguez autograph as a potential pull from there, his base rookie card as well. Those packs could get to be quite expensive. And uh, as you know, those J-Rod autos are very, very expensive. We were looking for a Julio Rodriguez autograph in 2022 Tops Chrome on Friday night. Didn't find him. Uh, unfortunately, it seems like the, uh, the short prints of his card from Tops Chrome also may be missing. Still waiting to find out more about that. All right, Steven, almost done. I decided to rip all your packs at once and see what we can find. I call this the Super Rip. And uh, we will hopefully get seven total autographs. It'd be nice if everyone gets at least one. So here we go. Let's get these wrappers put away. Still got to clean up some of this gum. I know some of you will appreciate this from earlier in the week. A whole bunch of 1981 Tops of gum just laying in there in a big stack. All right, Steven. Let's go ahead and flip this over. Man, so many cards. 100 total cards in the base set. You'll see some parallels. And uh, the fourth card is always the potential parallel card. The first three in each pack will always be just your regular base cards. And so far, nothing happening yet. There's Jose Siri, Brian Reynolds. We have our first parallel coming up. It's John Carlos Stanton. It is a green. It's numbered out of 99 on the back right there. So we'll get that one sleeved up for you. For Steven, there's Max Muncy, Ryan Valet, J.D. Martinez. Corbin Burns, your Cy Young Award winner last year. There's Jordan Alvarez, hit three home runs the other night. Man, he's good. He's been he's been hurt as well for a good bit of the season. There's O'Neill Cruz, which is a nice one. Always check your backs, by the way, because some of these could be numbered out of 50. They look almost indistinguishable from the base cards. There's Cedric Mullins. That is a purple number out of 150. Actually, 75 on the back. I guess the blues are out of 150. It's been a little while since I've opened these. Nick Fortes. I feel like we've pulled quite a few of his autographs from the silver pack. So far, no autographs to talk about for Steven. I really hope we get seven uh, and haven't found a single one yet. There's that back card. We can put that one off to the side. Juan Soto, Aaron Judge, as he continues his march on history. 
and trying to beat Roger Maris's 61 home runs, which is the American League record. There's Josh Bell. That's number out of 150. Jared Kelnick, Josh Lau. Still not a single autograph from this first stack. Man, I talked these packs up like they were going to give us seven autographs, and we're off to a very slow start. We have a purple one right here of Jake McCarthy. That'll be numbered out of 75 as well. So, some parallels to speak of, but no, oh, there's Wander, no autographs in that entire first run. That's disappointing. I was hoping we'd have some there. All right, so I, I got to stick to seven. I can't change my tune mid-break. Jamie's up next. Jamie might get a nice run of like two or three. You never know. All right, Jamie, let's see what we can find for you. And Steven, thank you very much. Here's the next big old stack of 20 packs. Definitely can't change your picks mid stride. Some people always ask me, hey, you want to change that to uh, you wanna change your World Series prediction? I thought my World Series prediction was pretty good when I made it, and I'm sticking to it. Before the season started, I picked the Blue Jays to beat the Dodgers. I forget if I said in 16 or 7 games. I can't remember. I'll have to go back and find it where I said it in spring training, but both teams are in the playoffs, so I've, at least I've got a chance. Much better than last year's prediction where I predicted the. Uh, Yikes, I don't even want to say it. Pretty sure the White Sox beating the Padres. Padres absolutely flopped last year. But, uh, you know, sometimes you're lucky, sometimes you're not. I predicted the 2019 one correctly, if I'm not mistaken. Can't believe it's almost time for playoff baseball. There's only a couple more weeks left in the season. I hope to go to one more Pirates game. I've only been to two Pirates games this entire year. So I need to get to one more. I'd like to go out and say goodbye to Albert Pujols. He's coming back to Pittsburgh. His last series of the season, the Cardinals' final series, is against the Pirates here at PNC Park. So it'd be nice to see if it fits in the schedule and get on out there and see Albert one final time. It's going to be the last time I'll ever get to see him play, which uh, I feel like I need to get out there and see the machine one last time, and I hope he gets a dinger in the game. That would be pretty cool as uh, he's really just kind of found the, uh, the fountain of youth here. So we're 22 packs in without a single hit. Next, we've got Adolis Garcia. That's a purple out of 75. So the big card we're looking for in the autograph checklist is going to be the Wander Franco autograph. There's Austin Riley. That's numbered out of 150, a blue. Babe Ruth. And, man, we are finding <laughs> every pack now is a parallel out of 150 on the Alex Kirloff. Lots of color in here. There's the Wander Franco as well. Now, these were all taken from Hobby Boxes. So I don't know if maybe just the Jumbo Boxes have better um, silver packs in there. You wouldn't think that's the case, but kind of kind of suspicious about it now. We've got Carlos Rodon. This one, if we look at the back, is numbered out of 150. Ronald Acuna Jr. and Julio Arias is the last one. Continuing on with the next pack... Got a blue coming up here. Jake McCarthy, rookie card, numbered out of 150. Trey Turner. And a Jordan Alvarez. I cannot believe all the parallels in this stack. That one's out of 99. There's J.D. Martinez. We may have some numbered out of 50 as well. There's Adolis Garcia, yet another parallel. And Jake Cronenworth, Tyler O'Neill, Shane Boz, who's out for the year now. Nolan Ryan. Trey Turner, Kyle Tucker, Andre Dawson. And it looks like we are 0 for 40 on the silver packs right now. John got a lot of parallels in there. Now, these packs sell on eBay if you want to go ahead and grab one. Actually, that was Jamie that had all those in spot number two. I was looking at John in the on-deck circle. If you want to buy these on eBay, they usually sell for about $15 each. So they are pretty expensive. People love buying the silver packs and ripping them open. They are a fun rip. Nice bonus. It used to be back in the day you didn't get silver packs with your boxes. They changed that up a few years ago. And they started putting them in the packs. Before that, if you bought a case of, say, tops, they were just in the case on top. So tops figured, you know what? Rather than these just going to the distributor or the, uh, the person selling the case, we'll give them and put them in the uh, hands of the actual collectors out there. Great idea. I'm so glad they did that. I mean, 
I guess the boxes would be a little cheaper if these weren't in there. They might be $10 cheaper or so, but I'm glad that uh, they made that switch. I remember buying cases and just having loose packs just floating on the tops of the box. I always thought that was a terrible idea. I was like, how are these not all damaged up? All right, John, let's see what you can find in your next run here of three. These are all from 2022 Tops Series 2. We are 40% of the way done, still looking for our first auto. I was, man, I guess I was really hopeful. I know that 2021 Tops Series 2 is really loaded with autographs for the Silver Packs. Maybe I overshot my prediction here. Here we go with this next stack. Lots of parallels in that last run. All right, there's Matt Chapman to lead things off with this one. Shane Boz and Andre Dawson. Hans Kraus there as well. And there we go, our first one. It's Rowanzi Contreras, our first auto. And Rowanzi is a good one. So this one, if we look at the back, it'll be numbered out of 199. He is our best starting pitcher, and he's got a bright future. So, John, congratulations on that. Autograph number one in the books. And we'll see what else we can find. A lot of the autographs in this set will be well, rookies. You also have some veterans in here as well. There's Cedric Mullins, numbered out of 150. All-star start in the All-Star game last year. There's Jake Cronenworth, also an All-Star. Two-time All-Star now on Cronenworth, if I'm not mistaken. Purple, it's Derek Jeter. Nice Derek Jeter. This one's numbered out of 75 and Hans Kraus there as well. We're not done yet, John. Maybe we'll find another one for you. That's the goal. We've got a blue J.D. Martinez. That one will be numbered out of 150. David Ortiz flipped upside down there. That's kind of weird, the collation there. Not making much sense to me, David Ortiz. We've got John Carlos Stanton. Sometimes you have those little anomalies like that in your boxes. There's Jose Barrios. That is numbered out of 150. Lots more parallels. So we got one auto. Looking for a second one here for John. And looks like we're going to have to wait till the next stack to find our next autograph. So, John, thank you very much. Congrats on the Rowanzi Contreras autograph. And now, coming up next, it's Jack Holland at spot number four. Jack Holland has had some good luck when it comes to the Silver Packs. We'll see if he can bring that good luck back right now. We'll go with this stack, top left for Jack. And we'll see what we can find here on this Silver Pack Sunday. I guess we'll just call it that. I know we don't do these every Sunday. I typically do these once every few months when I have a big stack of these sitting on the shelf. And I'm like, oh, that looks like it's getting to be about 100. I think we'll go ahead and rip those open. Let's see what we've got for Jack here in spot number four. No odds on these, unfortunately. They're, I don't know what the official odds would be. I've done this video before with Series 2. I don't know if I did 100. I met, may, may have been kind of a hodgepodge of 100. But, uh, man, the 2021 update were the absolute worst silver packs in recent memory. Those were about one autograph every 150 or 200 packs, it seemed like. The best that I remember is 2021 Series 2. And uh, I thought these were not that bad. I'm kind of disappointed with them. One autograph in 60 packs so far. It's kind of been a uh, kind of a weekend of disappointment. I was also a little let down by Topps Chrome. We had one really good box in our live stream break. I got the O'Neill Cruise short print photo variation. It's like a $500 card. But every other box we opened up just seemed to be coming up short in terms of the return on the value now a lot of those guys are rookie autos and you know the jury is still out on them they might come back down the road and be a great player years from now but uh, as of right now i felt like every box was probably a negative roi return on the investment except for the one big one at the end all right let's see what we can find here for jack in spot number Four. Reggie Jackson in the coveted number four hole of the pack, which is where the best cards are going to be in each pack. There's a J.D. Martinez. That one's numbered out of 50. A little suspicious of that one. It just looked a little bit different to me. See how they look almost the same? So that one's numbered to 50. They're very, very tough to spot. 
But uh, just remember that that fourth card in each pack, that's where the parallel is going to be. So you might as well just check it if you're not sure. Some of you might even have some cards out of 50 in your collection at home and not even realize it. All right, Jack, next pack up. Or next stack up, I should say. Man, Jack, I just noticed you only have the one numbered card so far. We had some folks get a whole bunch of numbered stuff. There's a purple coming up here for you. That's... I thought that Babe Ruth had a little blurb right there or something. Look at how this card of Dawson is off center. It's like 2080 on that one. Seth Beer upside down. Rod Carew right there. We've got Jake Myers. And our final card is going to be Jose Barrios. That one is numbered out of 75. So, Jack, tough luck right there, man. Two, only two numbered cards. Wish we could have got couple more for you and now we're down to our very final spot of this silver pack sunday i've got that last stack of five packs it's all for joshua let's see what we can find for you here in our very last one thanks for joining us for this hopefully we can have a little last stack magic here before we head on out tomorrow we'll have mystery box monday if you'd like to join us for that i'll have a regular standalone I also have a big, giant box of stuff that somebody sent me. They said they're moving overseas to, like, the Philippines or something, and they're just they're done with their card collection, so they just put it on a giant box and put it into mystery bags, and they asked me to sell it for them. Now, I don't know. I'm a little suspicious. What if all those packs suck? What if it's a bunch of, like, 88 tops and 88 Don Russ and stuff like that? I really hope that it's just filled with good stuff. So, I don't know. I'll have to look into that a little more and decide if I want to do that. And um, maybe we'll feature that. I don't know. I'm not sure which one I want to do yet. That The box is... Yeah, it's like a, it's like one of those big moving boxes. So, it would be its own video if, if I did that one. I got the box a couple weeks ago just deciding about it. It's one of those unsolicited boxes where people send you stuff and then want you to sell it and then send them money, which isn't uh you know it's not something that i would tell you to do i i, I really don't like it when people do that i would rather know ahead of time it saves uh saves everyone a little bit of time doesn't put me in an awkward position all right joshua let's see what we have here for you in your very last spot last one of this silver pack lot for josh we've got nolan ryan on the top right there and here we go. There is an autograph, Nick Forte. So right off the bat, autograph number two, Joshua Thompson. Congratulations on that one. And I, I'm really curious to go back and look at my other silver pack of this and see how many we got in 100. If anyone wants to go and do that research for me, you can let me know in the comments. The last, Hey, Corbin Burns! It is a numbered Corbin Burns Cy Young Award winner. So here we go. Last stack magic indeed out of 25. That is a nice one, a numbered orange Corbin Burns autograph out of 25. So three packs already have two autos in the books. And we'll see if you can get one more, which would be a big W. Nice come from behind. Uh, that Matt Brash, is that numbered? It is not. And Jose Canseco there. So we have about half the cards left in the stack. We'll go through these right now and see what we can find. Home Run Challenge. So that reminds me, folks. Hey, if you haven't called your shot yet, you better get on it. There's not much time left in the season. Freddie Peralta right there. I myself have a big stack of cards that Jason sent me. And uh, I need to start calling my shot and see if I can win some free cards. I need to really make notes so I don't forget about it. There's Matt Veerling. That's going to be a blue rookie out of 150. And Pete Alonso's right there. Not numbered. Seth Beer rookie card. Ryan Mountcastle. Got another blue coming up. It's going to be an O'Neill Cruz. That is a nice one right there. O'Neill Cruz numbered to 150. And we've got about maybe two packs left, two show times back to back. Is one number? No, they're both the same. That's kind of weird. And two Castellanos cards back to back as well. 
Final pack is going to produce a Kyle Lewis in that number four hole. So, Josh, we got a couple autographs there. Thank you very much. So, three autographs all together in that run of 100. Gives you, gives you an odds of uh, one in 33 packs, which, uh, you know, there's no official odds. I kind of thought they were one in 20. Maybe they're one, I don't know, one in 25. So I was hoping for more than three. We got uh, we got three. I guess we'll take it. Better than getting completely shut out. So, folks, thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you'll tune in tomorrow for Mystery Box Monday. Again, I'm not sure which way I'm going to go, if I'm going to do that giant box or just do all the standalone packages. And then I'm really hoping to have Topps Fire. I ordered Topps Fire. It seemed like three weeks ago, and it has still not yet come in. So hopefully we can get that done and um, sometime this week. And also, I... I'm planning on doing our Saturday showdown tomorrow. So everything got mixed up this week. Um, so look for the Saturday showdown on a Monday. So Saturday showdown on a Monday. We'll do that live tomorrow night. I hope you can join us for that. So have a great rest of your Sunday. Thank you very much for tuning in. And I will see you all tomorrow. Good night, everybody.